Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial video. In this episode I'm going to be showing you my Mozilla Firefox resource pack. In this resource pack that I made it's got an epic I mean epic loading screen but you have to manually install it so that's bad. Anyways what this resource pack is is it adds a bunch of backgrounds to your Minecraft places all the vanilla ones and adds firefoxes it's just beautiful and that's the bottom it rotates around like six images five actually four actually here and the bottom one is that one so anyways your downloads here I'm gonna be showing you how to install it and how to get the custom loading screen to work since uh, the launcher is bugged out here's the credits if you're a tech guy like me and so you click download, it's going to bring you here, you download it, but I already did, so it's going to be here. And then, this is how you install a resource pack. You go to your start menu, type in percent app data percent slash dot minecraft. That will be in the description below, so you can just copy and paste, but I suggest you memorize it. And then you go to resource packs. And then you see this, it's in a zip. It will appear to you as a file that looks like it's zipped because you don't have WinRAR like me. And then you just drag Modzilla Firefox over. Now you won't see the 1.5.2 default launcher. That's actually a work in progress, but this is the updated one. I just fixed a bug that I created. But anyways, if you get confused, you can always read the readme. No, I don't want to look at that. So anyways, the uh, resource pack is now installed. And let me show you why in a second that the custom launching screen does not work. Because look at that. That's horrible. It doesn't even have a Firefox. Sorry if you have epilepsy. But anyways, there's another way you could have got to the resource packs. But I didn't tell you because... Oh, by the way, that's how you saw it. You click on the picture, click done, and then it converts it. But anyways, you click open resource pack folder. But I highly suggest you do this. Go to roaming. Create Minecraft dot Minecraft shortcut. Place it to your desktop. If you're going to be doing anything else like this in the future, do that. And anyways, it's going to configure it, and then it's going to load it, but it was already loaded. Now then, you're wondering, why the heck did it work? Did it not work? But, well, you go to textures, GUI, title, mojang.png. This is supposed to work, right? Wrong, because the modifications that the new launcher has since 1.6 does not allow the custom screens now this is actually a bug that Mojang never fixed and Jeb wasn't even thinking about because no one actually ever reported it they thought you can make a custom version if it doesn't work but it's supposed to work in a resource pack without changing and making a custom version and that's exactly what we have to do this is background images by the way we have to make a custom version from the Minecraft launcher. How you do that is you go to percent app data percent slash stop Minecraft. You go to versions and I deleted that one. You create a custom launcher thing. You just copy whatever version you're looking for, which is 181, and then you name it what you want. I'm gonna name it Fire. Foxy. We're gonna have to name everything else in the folder Fire Foxy. Fire Foxy. Fire Foxy. And then you go to the dot chasing. It's gonna appear that you can't open it, but what you do is you go to properties, open with notepad and then you click apply 
Now, if you're in a school or something like that, just double click it, or quite possibly, I don't know what to tell you, but they shouldn't have unblocked properties, change program, honestly. And then you open it with notepad, and you see where it says ID. You go to wherever it was named previously, and then don't go outside the quotes or you mess it up. Name it whatever you named everything else. Fire Foxy. There we go. So now we have a custom version of Minecraft. It will launch. Now here's where you're going to need WinRAR. If you want the custom launcher screen. You're going to need to open this jar file. Now you can turn it into a zip by going to Organize. Folder and Search Options. View. And then where it says hide extensions for known file types, that will be checked. Well, uncheck that. But that's a pain in the neck to deal with, and WinRAR is just an overall better program. So then you go to Assets, Minecraft, Textures, GUI, Title, and then see this? That's the loading screen that we keep seeing. So. I actually made, hold on, a default thing that's in here. But I made a bug, so I'm actually going to re-upload the thing. So don't click on the URL expecting it to work. I made a bug because the pictures were smaller than they were supposed to be. And then you launch Minecraft. Because they weren't 256 by 256, they were close, but they weren't. And then you click on the version, Firefoxy or whatever you named it, and click play. Everything should work now. Yes, WinRAR is open, it's not going to crash it, don't worry. And there we go! <laughs> Custom loading screen activate. Oh yeah, guys, one more thing. Uh, the picture has to be named Mojang, all lower cases. And then you put it in the... Dot Minecraft to where it's located. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any technical difficulties, please contact me in the description below.